Part of the Hall of Fame class of 1991, Gaylord Perry, a former Mariner, celebrating the anniversary of his 300th win here today. You can see the accolades. The resume is pretty darn good. A Cy Young in each league. American League and National League and a five-time All-Star. Gaylord Perry joins us here in the booth at Safeco Field. Mr. Perry, it's good to have you with us. Uh, thanks for having me. Now, this yeah. is a pretty a pretty special day for you, a 300th yes. win. On yes, this day. it is. It, it seems to get more important every year, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope I can keep uh, enjoying them a long time. What, you threw a strike today. Yeah, a new pitch. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, you became yeah. the submariner all of a sudden. Right, yeah. I, well, the guy was crowding the plate a little bit. <laughs> Now, now Gaylord when we were getting ready for this today and, and knowing that you were going to be here I started looking at some numbers of yours in your career and we showed a few of them right there and I had to wonder did your arm ever hurt <laughs> more <laughs> all the complete games all the strikeouts everything that you were able to do and, and just take the ball with, and I imagine for a while there every fourth day instead of every fifth day every fourth day I pitched yeah, yeah. and uh, I had a little arm stiffness in spring training year in 19 uh, uh, when I went to San Diego I think it was 1968 86 or something 86 I think it was and um, I had a great trainer and a uh, guy down there Bucky Dent in San Diego and we started doing exercise my shoulder had gotten weak right back there mm -hmm. and he had great exercise he could take one finger and hold me to start with two weeks later I could throw him against the wall <laughs> so uh, the, it didn't keep me out. So it was all the way to 86 before you first started having some arm issues. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. And that year I won 21 games. So. 21 games. Wow. Yeah. Did yeah. I hear you say earlier today Gaylord that you were on the disabled list one time and that was because of an ankle injury. Right. I was sliding in the second base and the shortstop was jumped up high to catch the ball and it came down. I thought it was going to spike me so I turned and my uh, left ankle hit the bag and had a pull muscle down there. I still pitched three innings after that. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to play ball you know. Well you're talking about it and you're getting your 300th win in Seattle. What were some of your thoughts of going to the ballpark that day knowing that it was an opportunity for you to do that. It's a, it's a great milestone and and obviously you know walks you right into the Hall of Fame. What were you thinking about that day. Well I had a two or three great days between starts that time the day before um, when I was in San Francisco Don Nuke and I worked for President Reagan in his second election so he called me the day before I pitched my 300th win he said it'd be too late when you he was in Washington I'm in, uh, in here and so he said, I'm going to call you now. So he called me the day before. So he put wow. the pressure on me. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, but it was, um, it was a great milestone to get. Uh, you know, I worked very hard for it. I had good teammates. I had some of the best in the world in San Francisco, Mays and McCovey and Cepeda and Marichal. So it was, uh, it was just a great opportunity. I love pitching. And I wanted to pitch every four days and then I wanted to go nine. So. And you did that a lot. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, Gaylord, you are in the Hall of Fame. Your jersey from that game, your 300th win, is also in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. What was that like for you when that final out was reported in that game? You obviously had to have known at that period of time where you fit in this great game's history. Yeah, I know that um, about two weeks before that, uh, early win was working radio and TV with. Um, uh, a ball club that we were playing, and uh, he was the last guy that won 300. That, that was 19 years between wow. that. So uh, I had a lot of talk about that with him, like it was what it was all about and all. And uh, it was very helpful. I got some inside information, and really, I really enjoyed. It. He said, "Go out and enjoy, it. have fun, laugh, and tell jokes, whatever you want to do." Cracked into center. Already he plays it on a hop and with one out Gomez is aboard. Now I, I have to ask you um, because I, I, I'm from this area I grew up so I got, I got uh -huh. to watch a pitch when you were here. Where did all of this stuff <laughs> where, where, where did all that start and, and did you do the same routine every time or is it something that just kind of grew over the years. I probably did it 90 percent of the time. Yeah. Because well my hitters 
when Lou Burdett came in the pitch. They were bad before I got a chance to start a lot. Uh, they would get on the umpire about hey, go check Lou out and all like <laughs> Lou would be laughing at us. So I needed help. I was <laughs> like uh, <laughs> a one in six my first year. So uh, I just started getting my own routine right. and go through it. And I never, never in the night, I just say, well, what are you talking about? You know, <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about anyway. And uh, so I got to play. And, you know, the opposing guys w were not very angry. So they kind of, you know, enjoyed it, too. So I just kept kept on doing the old thing. Yeah, that was yeah. great. I really enjoyed watching all that. In fact, we would try to do it too, right along with you, which was kind of fun. Yeah. Now, Gaylord, if you look at, as Mike was talking, referencing your complete games, your complete game total uh, is something that we will never see again by a pitcher at any point going forward. 303 career complete games. Gaylord, the active leader in Major League Baseball. You want to guess what the number is? It's CC Sabathia. How many? Complete games, you think CC's got all together? All together. He's been around for a while. Probably 120. 38. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody's getting 301. I, I felt pretty comfortable saying that's not going to happen again. He would get released now. Like when I played, Marichal, he completed like uh, 260 some games. That's still a far cry from what yours was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's. It's pretty incredible when you look at how pitching has changed, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, I think they've taken a, a, a lot of help away from their managers because now you you get another five pitchers and you cut out your pinch hitters, your defensive infielders, you know, and so he, he doesn't have many players to work with. We were talking earlier today about four man rotations versus five man rotations. When did that bridge go to a fifth man? It went uh, after I retired. I retired in uh, what 83 or something like that, and uh, it started after that. Uh, we didn't have too many guys that would go nine innings anymore. Didn't want to really. Some of them, they just if I got a lead in six innings, I might have let this other guy finish it off. So uh, it, it's gotten pretty regular now. Everybody uses it. You were talking about that you that when you started the game you wanted to finish the game and that's obvious with the numbers that Aaron was just throwing out there. How much of that was also expected of you? Oh, a great deal. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, my manager, Alvin Dark, Herman Franks was. I pitched 16 innings when I'm in the old Cincinnati ballpark. Herman Franks, my manager. That. <laughs> yeah. He comes over after 14, and he says, well, "How you doing?" I said, "Well, I'm gonna pitch two more innings. If I don't have a run, I'm out of here." <laughs> I pitched two and I left. Wow, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> but my managers, uh, I had no trouble with managers. So they knew I was giving my best effort out there. And if it went 12 innings, I'd go 12. Oh, Unbelievable Gaylord. career. Yeah. It's fantastic having you here tonight. Thank Thanks you, man. for swinging by. Thank you, Gaylord. Thank you. Gaylord Perry, Hall of Famer, former Mariner.